you struggle looking for a recruiter um, and you apply for so many companies or you think you're getting scammed or are they legit? Sometimes it's always good to look at the websites to see if it is. Like so many companies do have a website, but um, some of these unnamed facilities or travel companies, they don't have a website at all. But um, you can go on the BB website, the Better Beer website, and you can see if they legit or not like that. But then you, when you say you're trying to look for a recruiter, um, your recruiter have... How I should say this? Whatever you asking, you have to say you're looking for 15, 1,500. You ain't gonna get that. The highest, the highest I saw may be 13 as we speak. You're not going to get that 15 because they try to get to know you real quick as you send all your documents over and they ghost me, ghost you. Um, reason I said that is because I had that done to me. Um, I asked for 14 and that was not what she was not willing to play. So basically we kind of ghost each other because what I asked for and how the market, I knew the facility you were trying to send me to, you could have gave me that. You could have upgraded my pay a little bit. You could minimize my Skyping because I could have made it back home. And then that would be my 15. Plus, you could throw it in a 200 or 500 sign-up bonus with that. So, that would make it my 15. But then, the other part is, it was like she was trying to be sarcastic with it and a little bit rude. So, something times you just not going to get that information. You're not going to get the rest of my information anyway if I can, can't get what I'm asking for. And then, two, you can't say it, I don't have enough experience because... Out of my years been doing this, I, <coughs> I have plenty of years of spirit. I can break it down all year. I don't know how, what years all are together. I just one big one. That's what I do. But I have my hands and skills in every little field. Nursing home, sister living, group home, hospice, and all that. But looking for a recruiter? Um, yeah, most of them are already ghosting you. And it's again that time anyway, that little warmness or that springness. Yeah, most of them. <laughs> they always say I was on vacation or they working with nurses too. So you kind of like in the back of the inn or stuck in a closet real quick where they know the nurses getting a good contract. They always have the good contracts. Yeah. Um... The other places that are still, are hiring for CNAs at the moment, and these are the five states that I know of, Alaska, Maine, California, Colorado. Them the four. The fifth one, Alaska, Maine, California, Colorado. There's another one. I forgot what that one is. It's another cold state or warm. I'm not, I want to say Florida, but that could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I want to say Florida. Oh, Hawaii. That was another one. That's another one. So if you have your license in them states or go get your license in them states, that's where the money is just a little bit for that them states. But looking for a good for contract, you just got to keep playing plan You have to just apply with certain companies. I can leave at the bottom of this um this channel, I can leave some companies that I apply with and then some other companies that somebody else. Or also, I can see if I can post the um, um, the links, have of the links. And then you can just do like that with the phone number too. Yeah, I could just do that part too. But at this time, you just have to network yourself look for a good contract and make sure your application is decent for them that can call you because trying to get somebody else recruiter it's not gatekeep or goalkeeping it's just because that recruiter do not want all them phone numbers or email in a box when they say if you know someone is looking for another contract another cna meta lpn or rn then yes let me know or share my information. That will be your key right there. That don't mean go crazy with it. That just mean I have a nurse, 
I have a, another med tag. Her name is Red Apple or her name is Blender LPN, stuff like that. But that will be your key right there if you know somebody that's hiring. Then that's what you send them out. But other than that, when they don't say that, they do not want nobody to give their phone number and emails. Because then that will be, they ain't going to really want to work with you too much. Because you want you to ask, can I, can I send out your information? Because there's some ones that are looking for a good contract. So, yeah. So, yeah, make sure you ask your recruiter if you if it's okay, you can send your information because there's a lot of ones that I, you know they're looking for a good child chat. And make sure also tell the recruiter who the names are. And then tell them, put your name underneath the application. Or when you text them, say, send such, refer me to this. Then they will know. If you just say, hey, I just got your, I got your name. I'm just, I heard that you was hiring. Or I heard you, you were good. Say the person name that refer you. Then they know, okay, she was looking for it. Just as the person. Or let the person know who the person is. But yeah, all that gatekeeping, go kicking. No, nah, most recruiters do not want to have their phone numbers or email flooded. You still be at back to square one looking for a recruiter so just do your own network and i will um put majority some companies in this email but just don't forget to subscribe leave a comment give a girl a thumbs up and i will talk to you on another one next time in a little bit talk to you later